what is social policy? So when we talk about social policy, we can be referring to two things. Number one, it could be the academic subject itself. Or number two, policies are things that actually have real impact. So when we talk about academic subject of social policy, um, this subject looks at the development of collective action for the advancement of social welfare. So its objective is to meet human needs, okay, or to identify ways to improve social welfare. So social policy experts would look at identifying and clarifying issues um, within this area or within this scope. As um, policies themselves, okay, um, social policy or policy can be statements, goals or targets of things that should happen or what ought to happen. So when we talk about policy, policies will be made based on principle. So it could be a principle of equity, or it could be principle of equality, and very much so depends on the society it's coming from or what that society give importance to. So it's a reflection of the ethics and morality of that social group. So apart from those statements, social policy can be considered as a living thing, okay? Because policy is not just those statements. So when we talk about social policy, it's also the implementation of. So most or a lot of social policies do not actually meet what it sets out to do, unfortunately. Some of the reasons why this might be the case is Number one, it could be that the policies themselves have overly optimistic expectations. Number two, it could be the case that it's trying to replicate something successful that happened in a particular social group. So unlike a chemistry or a biology experiment, we cannot really replicate um, social conditions because human beings are very unique, their relationships are very dynamic, and it's very contextual. So sometimes successes that happen in particular school, for example, cannot be replicated nationwide. Um, good methods that happen in a particular community might not be replicatable in other um, communities. The third could be inadequate collaboration. There might be inadequate collaboration between the groups and parties involved. Um, one of it could be the downstream implementation. So policies might be made by um, at the high level, at the governmental level, for example, but the implementation has to happen at the grassroots level. So sometimes inadequate collaboration between the governmental level and the grassroots level um, impedes the success of um, the particular policy. And then finally, another reason why it doesn't become successful could be the political cycle. So sometimes policies are introduced at the beginning of the administration okay, and dies off or there's no sustainability because with a change of administration, policies might change. Okay, So that is one of sometimes one of the reasons even good policies do not continue on. Okay, so I want to give an example that's close closer to what I do, which is on breastfeeding. I know breastfeeding sounds like something very personal and something very private, okay? But policies really have a strong impact on breastfeeding. So research shows that breastfeeding has um, a myriad of benefits for both mothers and babies. So the recommended um, length of breastfeeding is six months, exclusive breastfeeding is six months for babies and mothers. So this means that in order to achieve um, this outcome, we have to make sure that both moms and babies can be close to each other during the first six months. So what policies can do is number one, policies can ensure that mothers can breastfeed their babies in the first hour, which is a very important hour because this initiation process has a strong um, relation to whether or not there is continued breastfeeding. Number two, policies can also influence whether or not mothers can stay at home or mothers can be supported at work. So for example, the idea or the policies of paid parental leave or supportive environment, ensuring that working facilities would have a creche or a childcare centre where the mothers can go down and go and breastfeed um, the child directly. Or whether or not the offices or the workplaces have spaces for mothers to express their breast milk or they have spaces or 
places for mothers to store the breast milk that they've expressed and they also have timed breaks so mothers do not have to try to find free time there's actually a paid break for the mothers to go and uh, breastfeed or express milk okay so these are just some of the ways okay even things that we might think are trivial okay policies if successfully implemented okay and crafted actually helps uh, it happen for example labeling or advertising or clear messaging so we have formula milk okay in order to ensure that people do not get confused about whether or not formula milk is better than breast milk okay the labeling is important so for example in malaysia we have a food regulation act and that controls this that makes sure that okay, on formula milk there is clear labeling to say that breast milk is still the best so these are examples. So we can see policies at the higher level. For example, WHO policy, we have the BFHI, Breastfeeding Friendly Hospital Initiative. So the Breastfeeding Friendly Hospital Initiative um, has certain targets. So to make sure that pregnant mothers have been educated about breastfeeding, um, that healthcare workers know uh, what to do. So there's a clearly written policy for what they have to do and what needs to happen. And then at the national level in Malaysia, we have breastfeeding national policy. Okay, and then employers would have policies as well. For example, there's tax deduction for employers who have facilities in their um, areas for their, for their employees. So we also have the Food Regulation Act. So while we do have these policies, like I said, most policies do not achieve what it sets out to do. So in the same way, with this acts or with these policies, some of them do not achieve. For example, while our government gives tax deductions to companies who have childcare facilities, most companies do not um, take on this initiative. Okay, so in order to make sure that policies are successful, okay, as policy makers, uh, we or they need to make sure that they've done three things. Number one, good preparation. Number two, tracking and three, support. So there has to be careful and critical evaluation of the social impact that the policy will have on the ground. Whether or not people will take on it, whether or not it can be implemented well. So these are really important things to consider because social policies really do uh, impact and can have a really good impact if done well for the social welfare, either in education or in healthcare, safety and security. Okay, thank you.